Are you scared yet? They say this thing, it kills your immune system, attacks your lungs, makes it hard to breathe, and it's spreading. It's spreading like wildfire, causing havoc. Your friends and family are gonna get it, if they don't already have it. It's tragic, I tell you, madness. Scientists say old people get it worse, but most get it eventually. They say this is new, but no, no, no. This has been around for centuries. Look at history, it's just a different name, a different strain. And now there's no way to contain it. It affects the rich, poor, young, old, the unknown, the famous. It's dangerous. Everyone's on edge, locked inside of their homes nervously. Borders are closed, countries declare state of emergencies. Grocery stores are empty. Nobody's praying in church. The world has gone to crap. No wonder toilet paper sold out first. The stock market crashed. Thousands laid off work. Hand sanitizer is going for a million dollars a squirt. You better not sneeze because no one's going to say God bless you. They might even arrest you. I don't mean to stress you, but washing your hands obsessively in the restroom will not protect you. Friends, I'm not talking about coronavirus. Now this is a virus even more deadly. The F virus. You've seen it. It spreads every minute like an epidemic. It lives on surfaces, most commonly remote controls, TV screens, cellular phones. It makes you desperate. Doctors say every time you scroll down your feed, you get reinfected. It invades the brain. And when it mutates, it turns into hatred and blame. China did it, no, no, Italy did, no, no, Iran, no, Spain. Oh, I didn't make it clear? The F virus, ladies and gentlemen, is fear. But don't be afraid. Despite what you hear or see on your TV, there is good news during this tragedy. To fight loneliness, people are performing concerts on their balconies. The UAE sent aid to Iran. Japan donated supplies to China for free. Written on them was a poem that said, we are waves from the same sea. Listen to me, like every tragedy, we can let this destroy us or we can use it to our benefit and repair relationships with our sisters and brothers, wipe away silly grudges because when it's all said and done, all we ever really had in this world was each other. So yes, let's flatten the curve and expand our hearts. Let's social distance, boost our immune systems, be mindful of where we put our hands, but also where we put our attention. Be alert, not fearful, because the F virus is a pandemic easily transmitted. If you do contract it or exhibit symptoms, we recommend immediately dialing the hotline of a level-headed friend. If you are exposed through your TV, change the dang station. Decontaminate yourself through dance, laughter, and meditation. 2020 has been morbid. From Kobe to COVID, may we use these tragic moments to finally wake up to what's important. Right now, tell someone that you care for them. Yes, right now, tell them that you cherish them. If they are not in the same room, ring them up and tell them you will always be there for them. Because together is how we will rise above. The only vaccine for this F virus and every other virus is love.